What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a vacuum cleaner that has all the bells and whistles. Well, now we've covered dozens of vacuum cleaners on this channel, but all of them have like at least one missing feature. The DeBot X1 Omni has everything, including the kitchen sink. Literally, it has a kitchen sink built into the base station to clean the mop pads. We're gonna be taking a look at this awesome new vacuum cleaner. Is it really worth the high price tag? We're gonna find out in this video. Big shout outs to Ecovacs for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. I've got it on the floor because this is such a humongous package. Let's see what all this comes with. Ooh, okay, let's see. This is the base station right up front here. Wow. We'll take a closer look at the base station in just a moment. Let's get this vacuum unboxed. Right, we'll go ahead and get this opened up real quick like. So right away we've got our high quality mop pads. We've got two of these right up front. All right, and then we've got our electric cord there. Next up we have two side brushes. We do have a manual here and then there's also a little brush with a knife so that we can clean up hair and things that might get tangled up in the brush on the vacuum cleaner. Lots of reading material there. We've got a dust bag here. This is good enough for 60 days of dust collection. So you're not even gonna have to, you're not even gonna have to worry with your vacuum at all for up to 60 days at a time. There's also one already installed within the base station. Here we have the vacuum itself. This feels super heavy duty. And by heavy duty, I mean it's it's not lightweight. It look, feels like it's built to last, just first impressions. Up top here you have your time of flight laser there. This is for the advanced mapping technology. So you're gonna be able to get super accurate maps of your home, which means you're gonna get really efficient cleaning. And then we also have our 3D camera system up front. This is for that advanced obstacle avoidance. If we lift the top there, you do have your power button. You've got uh, a little indicator letting you know if you're connected to Wi-Fi or not. The dustbin is super easy to remove in case you need to clean the filter or swap out the filter. If we flip it over, you've got a nice wide brush system. You do have anti-cliff sensors so that it's not gonna fall down your stairs. We've got some nice big wheels. So this is gonna be able to transition between your hard floors and your carpet. And it's also gonna be able to clean your high pile rugs thanks to these nice big wheels. Of course, this is where your mop pads would install. So up top here, you do have a few buttons here. You have a self-cleaning button to clean the mop pads, a play and pause button to send the vacuum out to do its cleaning. And then you have a recall or exit button there as well. To access the water tanks, you're gonna lift up here. On the left side, you have your dirty water tank. So this is going to collect all the dirty water after the vacuum's been out and done its mopping. And then you also have your clean water reservoir here. This is gonna store all your clean water. Also, I think they do include a quick start guide underneath the lid. So this is just gonna make your initial setup super easy. All right, so midway down the machine, you're gonna find the dustbin. This is where your dust bag is going to go. That vacuum cleaner will auto empty into this dustbin and this bag is going to last you 60 days. So it's super easy to install here. Uh, and then it does automatically close there whenever you lift up the handle that we don't have to worry about dust and debris flying everywhere. You're simply going to just push that in place all right, and you are good to go. Okay, right down here is where all the magic happens. Uh, these little units right here are going to spray water into the mop pads whenever this returns, and then it's going to spin the mop pads to agitate them. That way it gets all the dirt and debris and everything out of the mop pads, cleans them up really nice. It's gonna shoot that water up into the dirty reservoir. It's going to empty out the dust into the dust bin. Then it's going to provide hot air to the mop pads to get them nice and dry so you don't have to worry about any mold or mildew. Real quickly, let's run through the setup process. So I've already got my clean water installed in the tank. We'll need to go in here and turn the switch to on. If you scan the QR code, you'll be able to easily find the Ecovacs application. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Once you've registered your account, then you can go ahead and add the vacuum and we're gonna go ahead and sign into our Wi-Fi. This is capable of connecting to 2.4 gig or 2.45 gig mixed networks, which is definitely a plus. You won't have to go into your router and split those two. Okay, so we need to press this button here for one second. Ready for your 
network setup. And now it's connecting us to the internet. Now that we're connected to the internet, we can name our vacuum and rename this one Anakin. Now that we have everything set up, we're gonna go ahead and let the DBot X1 Omni do a quick map. The first thing that really stood out to me was the design and the build quality of the entire DBot X1 Omni systems. So the base unit is actually pretty large. So it's about two foot tall, about one foot deep, and about 17 inches wide. And I don't mind the space that it takes. It actually looks really good in my living room, but I kind of look at this as a must have appliance. So it's, it's just as important to me as my stove or my refrigerator or even my washer and dryer for my clothes. If an appliance is going to take up this much space, and kind of be a prominent feature of a room in your home, it needs to look good. Ecovacs has partnered up with Jacob Jensen Design to make an appliance that looks luxurious and premium that really would fit in the decor of any home. Most vacuums that I've tested kind of look utilitarian and out of place. This one has more of a luxurious design with the silver metallic looking finishes on the top and on the sides. Also, everything is hidden away inside the unit. So you've got your clean water tank, your dirty water tank, and even a spot for all your accessories like a brush and extra mop pads are within the system. There's also a bin right there for the auto empty dust bin. So everything is hidden away nice and neat. And all the space in the base station is utilized. And speaking of the base, the all-in-one Omni station is really where all the magic happens. This is the star of the show. This is the first vacuum that I've ever tested that has both a clean and dirty water reservoir plus an auto empty dustbin. It really has everything that you're gonna need to have a totally hands-off experience with your vacuum cleaner. The auto empty dustbin houses a three liter replaceable bag, which is gonna last you about 60 days worth of cleanings. This uses 21,000 Pascal of suction power to empty the dustbin in the vacuum cleaner. This actually does get pretty loud, but it is able to complete the task in under 10 seconds. This does house four liters of clean water and it can auto refill the clean water tank within the vacuum cleaner, which means your mop pads are gonna be able to stay nice and moist through the duration of a mop cycle. After your vacuum has gone out and mopped your floors and come back to the station, this does have an auto cleaning feature. It actually shoots clean water into the mop pads while they rotate at 180 rotations per minute, the dirty water is then collected and stored in that four liter dirty water tank. After the mop pads are sufficiently clean, the unit does apply hot air to the mop pads to quickly dry them to eliminate any chance of bacteria or mold formulating on the pads. I think that is a very crucial step. If the mop pads ever do wear out or need a deeper cleaning, they can easily be removed and replaced as well. The vacuum unit is one of the most capable vacuums that I've ever used and definitely the best mopping system that I've ever used on a robotic vacuum. The dual side brushes work together with the floating main brush to make sure that all of the dirt, dust, debris, and even pet hair are collected during cleaning. And I do love the fact that this does have two side brushes. It means that no matter which side of the robotic vacuum is facing a corner or an edge, it's gonna be able to push all the dirt from from the edges to the center to be collected. Most vacuum cleaners on the market have just the one side brush, so if it just so happens that the vacuum cleaner approaches an edge on the wrong side, it's not gonna be able to edge. With this one, it doesn't really matter. You're always gonna get clean edges. The 5,000 Pascal maximum suction power is higher than the industry standard, and it definitely ensures that you're gonna be able to get a deep clean, whether you're on hard floors or even on carpet. So I have a high pile rug. One thing that I do love about this vacuum cleaner is when it detects that it's on a rug or carpet, it does increase the suction power, and I've been able to get really good cleans on both carpet and even my high pile rug, which most vacuum cleaners actually struggle with. The vacuum here does feature a 400 milliliter transport dustbin on the unit itself, and it includes an 80 milliliter water reservoir. And I've noticed that when it is vacuuming, it doesn't really have to return to the base except for to charge. When it's mopping, it does return to the base more frequently, but that's because I have it set up to return more frequently to wash the mop pads. Speaking of adjustments, you do have four levels of suction power that you can set, and you have three water levels for the mopping. As I mentioned earlier, the Osmo Turbo 2 mopping system is definitely the most capable mopping system that I have tested out. This features a double mop pad plate design. The mop heads also have a high rotation speed of 180 RPM, 
and you have six in of downward pressure on this mop station, this mop easily tackles spills and was even able to get up some gunk and other residue that had been on the floors for a more prolonged period of time. When it comes to mopping, this definitely gives the most thorough cleaning out of all the robotic mops that I've tested. Another standout feature here has to be the advanced obstacle avoidance. This uses AI VI 3D technology to actually see what is in front of it and avoid it. So if you happen to leave out shoes or even cords, it's gonna be able to avoid those and go around them. Most vacuum cleaners on the market, you kind of have to babysit them. So you might receive a notification that a sock has been stuck in the brush or a cord has been wrapped around the brush or something like that. That's not an issue with the X1 Omni. It's actually able to avoid those obstacles and it does it rather well. One thing that's really cool about this advanced obstacle detection is it does have artificial intelligence. So it can smartly determine whether it's looking at a human or a pet or some other common obstacle, uh, or if it's looking at a stationary obstacle like a shoe or a cord or even pet waste. So that's another big thing here is it is able to avoid pet waste, which would be a nightmare if you had a robotic vacuum that did not avoid the pet waste. One added benefit of this obstacle avoidance system is that it does have a live video manager, so you can actually check in on pets and loved ones while you're away from the house. So I think that's a really cool feature. It kind of doubles as a security camera, which is pretty cool. Why not add you know, not only the kitchen sink with a base station, but even a security camera on your vacuum cleaner. With the AIVI 3D system, this can also gather 3D maps of your home, which you can label. So you can label like where your couch is or your bed is. Then when you're communicating with the device via the Yiko voice control, you can actually tell it, hey, go and clean up in front of the couch. It's gonna know exactly where to go and clean up in that area, which I think is another really awesome feature. Okay, Yiko. Clean living room. Okay, start area cleaning. With the built-in Yiko voice control, you're actually just gonna get way more flexibility in the commands that you can actually use with this vacuum cleaner. For instance, if you spill something in the morning and you need it to come clean up, you can literally just say, okay, Yiko, it's gonna respond, and then you can say, come clean up right where I am. It's gonna look for you, find you, go to where you are, and clean up that mess. More than that, you can tell it with your voice to start cleaning. You can tell it with your voice to go clean a specific area or room, and all that's available because of the built-in Yiko voice control. Not only does this have the 3D obstacle avoidance, but it also has the direct time of flight mapping technology. This is by far the most advanced type of mapping technology in the industry. And with this technology, you're able to have a complete map of your house in under five minutes, which unless you've reviewed dozens of vacuum cleaners like I have, you may not appreciate that, but usually with vacuum cleaners, it takes a whole week or maybe even longer to get a good accurate map of your house because it has to take the map while it's cleaning your house here. It goes out before it cleans and gets a good accurate map of your house. With the True Mapping 2.0 technology, it's actually gonna send hundreds of lasers throughout your house and it can actually see where it's going. This means it's gonna be able to formulate the most efficient paths through your household. While a lot of vacuum cleaners are pretty random with their cleaning paths, you're gonna have straight true lines with this cleaning system. This is definitely the best system for mapping out larger homes. And even if you have lots of furniture, it's gonna be able to get the job done. With the included 5,200 milliamp hour battery, you are able to get up to 260 minutes of cleaning time. And my testing with the vacuuming on higher settings with mopping involved, I was able to get up to about two hours of cleaning. I do have a larger than usual home. And so for me, it did have to return to the base to charge once before going back out and finishing the job on my bottom main floor. If you do have a larger house and you're wondering about charging times, this is able to charge from zero to 100% in about four to five hours. I did want to take some time to focus on the application. You can use the vacuum cleaner without the application. There are a few buttons on top uh, to send it out to clean, to have it return to the base, and also to clean up the mop pads. Uh, but you definitely want to grab this application and utilize all of the included features. So you do have a few buttons here to send it out to auto clean or to have it to go back to the charge station. If you enter into the video manager here, that's going to give you a live feed of the camera system. Okay, so now I can see what's going on in my living room where I have the system set up. My kids heard it announced that the video was turned on, so they're here doing some dances and things like that. 
Uh, that's awesome, hilarious, but that's what it's for. You know, you can check in on your family, see what's going on. They'll get the announcement and the video records and you can kind of see what they're doing. You can also do a voice call here. So you actually have two-way communication. You can talk to your family from your vacuum cleaner. I love the fact that it does have that security camera mode. If we enter into the smart cleaning mode, we've got several more options. If I swipe up here from the bottom, um, I can go into standard or customize. You can choose one cleaning or two cleaning. So whenever you hit the play button, it's either gonna go out once or twice. You do have the four options here for your vacuum power. Remember, even if you have it on standard mode, if it approaches carpet, it's going to automatically increase the suction power, and then you also have three different levels of water flow that you can choose from. You can even choose the cleaning sequence. So if the living room's more important to you, uh, you can have it to go there first, followed by the kitchen, etc., etc. In the smart cleaning section, you also have some other options here as far as deep, daily, or efficient cleaning modes. You can also set up cleaning schedules. So if you want to add a schedule, maybe you want this to start cleaning every day when you leave for work at seven o'clock, and maybe once more before you return home at say three o'clock, you can set up those schedules there, or maybe you just wanted to go out and clean once a week, you can set that schedule there. All right, if you check this customize option, this has to be one of the best features of this vacuum cleaner. You can actually set area preferences. So maybe in the kitchen area, I need it to have more mop power. So maybe I need the mop to get extra wet and maybe I need more suction power around the dining table. So you can set that for that specific room. Maybe in the formal dining room where we don't really use it much, I could have it to the minimal setting uh, so that I'm not utilizing more battery power or more water. I just love the fact that you can set this up on a per room basis depending on you know, how you need that area clean. So another great feature here is the map management. If we go into map management and select our map, um, I did want to make mention here that you can set up multiple maps. So if you have like a two or three story home, you can set up a map for each story of your home and it's going to be able to capture those unique maps and clean efficiently. All right, if I go down here to the edit button, I can label the areas here. So that way, if I want to give a voice command to go clean the living room, it will know which room to clean. Um, I can also divide this. So if it, um, on the first map, it actually saw my kitchen, living room, and dining area as one room. So I was able to divide that and divide my living room from my formal dining room. You can also set up virtual boundaries. So if there is a room that you don't want it to clean, or in this instance, I was able to set up a virtual boundary for two pieces of antique furniture because I just would rather the vacuum cleaner not attempt to go under these. Uh, because I've had vacuum cleaners in the past that actually damaged those. So for those, I was able to set up a boundary for mopping because those mop pads actually give it a little bit more height and it avoids those pieces of furniture totally when it's mopping, but when it's vacuuming, it's still able to go under there and get those vacuumed. So if you did want to set one up, you would just check it and then you have your box. So you could set up either a virtual boundary with a wall, so it just wouldn't even go in the room at all. Uh, or you can set up a virtual boundary box and then it wouldn't go into that specific area. So it may still be able to go in the room, just not in that specific area. As you can see, the DBot X1 Omni is definitely the most feature rich and most advanced vacuum cleaner that is out there. Is it worth the price tag? I think for everything that you get here, I really think it is. This is definitely one of the most powerful vacuum systems and definitely the most powerful mopping system that I have ever used. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick this up today. Also, be sure to check out the rest of the DBot X1 family. Other than the Omni, there's also the X1 Turbo and the X1 Plus. All of these units feature the Jacob Jensen design, AIVI 3D technology, technology, strong suction power, high battery capacity, and a voice assistant. I'll be sure to include links to all of these so that you can grab more information on the DBot X1 family of products. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.